now I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am, okay? I come from a really, really, really poor family, literally. I grew up and slept in the same room with my mom and dad. They had a bed there and I had a bed here until I was 13. I was raised by Mexican parents from birth. They adopted me when I was two days old. And uh, so I grew up Mexicano, I grew up Latino. So I can speak Spanish just like English, okay? Both my parents uh, immigrated from, uh, from Mexico. So now I wanna tell you kind of what Joe's talked about with this Ojo Oído. When Joe approached me a few years ago and was telling me about what he was gonna do with this program and that there was kind of an epidemic going on specifically in the Latino community that maybe only six out of ten are going to graduate high school. Forty percent of you are not going to make it. And that's what they're telling you. You're not going to make it. Man, that's rough. If you think about it, making six, seven, eight bucks an hour, working your tail off. Some of you see your mom and dad doing that right now. My dad worked for the railroad for 40 years. Pico y pala. Hard work. Brutal, brutal work. This time management deal. You guys need to learn time management. How to manage your time. Gotta, uh, one of the things that I want to emphasize to you all is that one of the things that we're doing is we're using a pedagogy. Yeah, it's better to wait a minute. Get to assume pedagogy. Guess this one. What's that? I don't even know what that word is. A pedagogy. You ever heard that? Perate. Wait a minute. Pedagogy. You know how to spell it? Definition of pedagogy. Checking my sources. I found this for you. The principle, the principles and methods of instructions, the profession of a teacher, the activities of educating or instructing, activities that impart knowledge or skill. All right, keep going. I know, I know what you said. But what did you learn from that real quick? Don't be afraid to use a tool. Well, we're here to tell you the future's now. And we're here to give you, and I told you guys before, and I'm going to tell you again, the essentials. First of all, I, I want to let everyone know that I look at all your faces and I see myself. Why am I here? I'm here to give you some information to talk about my experiences of how I uh, how I started to dream at a very early age and maybe you can start dreaming today. You need to identify, make a list like we were talking about, write down your goal, make a list of what you like, okay? Sometimes it's just as important to make a list of what you don't like. Either way, either a list of what you like, a list of what you don't like. You want to enjoy life. That's what it's all about. Life is a journey. So if you're going to go through that journey, don't you want to have fun every day? And whatever you did before, I don't care. But today, have a different mindset. Start thinking, what do I like? What, I, what do I like? What if they pay me for, for doing what I like? Identify what you like. Your teacher's not going to tell you you should do this. You identify for yourself because you're all capable because you're all smart, you can do it, okay? The high school degree was important because uh, without it, I could not go on to the next step. So like in baseball, you get to first base, you can't get to second unless you get to first base. I went to college, I became a pharmacist, and I did it for 33 and a half years. But I had a passion to help people, that's why I'm here, and I had a passion to play music. I played as a kid, 
I played through college and I thought I always wanted to play. I wanted to be on TV, I wanted to play music on movies, and guess what? I played on TV, in, in movies, and, and now I get to perform and they pay me a lot of money to do that.